Hi, this is Sean. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to set up a door that acts kind of like a swinging saloon door. So you could like walk into it and it has a resistance and it tries to snap back into its same position using an angular motor. And it also has a constraint for how far it will swing as well. So it only rotates maximum of 90 degrees. Um, in addition, we'll show a linear motor without a constraint. So I have this swinging door, or whatever, the swinging object here. Um, and I have a physics handle, so you can grab it and stretch it back. I'm gonna let it go, and wow, look at it go. All right, so awesome. Those can be really fun to have in your levels. So let me show you how to set those up. All right, so we've got this door, and I've got a physics constraint actor, and I showed how to set that up in another video with a very simple constraint. But in this case, we're gonna modify some of the additional options inside the physics constraint actor. So in the constraint, you do the same process where you choose constraint object one with the eyedropper, constraint object two, so I've got this pillar. Then in addition to that, scroll down, and we've got some linear limits here and angular limits, and there's linear motors and angular motors. All right, but in this case, we just want a swing, a limited swing amount. So you can go through and you can choose the correct swing. How much am I going to allow this object to pivot? Well, in this case, it's a door, so I don't want it, I don't want it to pivot more than 90 degrees. So if you choose limited, then you the limits turn on. You can see there's three potential limits. And then also, I have an angular motor. So you just remember it's specifying an angle. And it tries to, and then I'm specifying also swing. It's swinging on an angle. And you can play with different strength values. But it's giving a strength that tries to push it back in the direction, uh, in, the, in the original spot that it was set up for. Um, so there's that. And then let's just take a look at this. So I have a similar physics constraint actor. And then you can say in this case, it's got a position target for a linear motor and a strength setup. And in this case, for linear limits, I have it set to free. So I could potentially drag this as far in the level as I wanted. And then it would just boomerang back and forth when I let it go, um, either by pushing it or by using the physics handle. So that's pretty much how you set up these two with angular limits and physics handles. And in another tutorial, I can show you how I, I did some other prototyping with rotation-based physics objects. So these are rotating based on motors. You can also grab them and you could like, maybe you could set up some sort of system where you grab and crank something. Um, what else? I mean, I have this thing set up to a rotational constraint too. I'm using the physics handle. Anyways, those will be up and coming. Awesome. So thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.